Guys, welcome to a flash Pokemon news. I'm going to go through all the good stuff right now to get you guys the info you really want. That's what we do with Pokemon news. If you're wondering what this is, it is basically cramming together all the cool little stories about Pokemon that are going on in the world that are not worth doing a 10 minute stretched ass video for you guys so you don't have to waste your time and I don't waste my time. So let's get right to it. First one, guys, is actually one we covered yesterday, the Pokemon Virtual Fest. Well, this is the date, 12th to the 31st. Now, I did say this was Japan only, but of course, VPN can be used you can do this on your phone you can do this on your desktop your PC or uh, iPads as well this is the virtual fest guys you're gonna be able to do a lot of things at it you're gonna be able to attend concerts you're gonna be able to ride roller coasters you're gonna here's the park map right here it's very cool and uh, if we go over you can see other things that we can do we have the entrance we have the attraction areas so be going on rides and stuff like that we have the beach area to chill and relax we have games like little mini games such as being Inteleon and shooting down targets or throwing rings around Dugtrio's heads or something like that <laughs> there they are there there's the little ring toss game that's pretty cool and uh, yeah we've got a concert just like in Fortnite with the other guys so that's just that uh, make sure here's the website pokemon 2020.cluster.mu you are gonna have to download an app the app I believe is called cluster the app is cluster this is a Japan exclusive thing but you guys are gonna be able to access it and there's gonna be different events happening between these dates right here so make sure you guys are around for that because I'd love to join you there I'm gonna be doing it myself and hopefully I'll see some of you around for that Next up guys, merch has dropped. Finally, we got some Blaine's merch and the link of course is always going to be down below in the description of every video from now on. You guys can go ahead and buy yourself some sweet ass looking t-shirts right here. We got this one down here too. Now how these look is basically if you get if you pick one, you're going to have this pattern on the back, the one that we just showed you there. And on the front, you're going to have the Blaine's logo created by Nix over on our Discord and YouTube mod. So that's it. That's the, that's the picture on the back. It's very cool. We got some very spicy stuff. I wanted to do merch a little differently to the typical YouTubers. I wanted to kind of play on the theme of me living in Japan and getting some really cool t-shirts uh, that you would not really be worried about wearing outside. Whereas I know a lot of YouTubers sell really, really cheap stuff from like some cheap company and it's really just the cheapest thing ever, but it's just the gimmick of it. And it's something you wouldn't really wear outside either. I've seen a lot of that stuff and sometimes it's just as plain as just the logo just by itself. That's it, and it's a white T-shirt. That's it. But um, you know, I wanted to do. A, I wanted to go a little further for that. So we got some cool little kind of yakuza style designs, and uh, you can wear these absolutely unshame, unsha shamelessly, shamelessly outside and about with your everyday. People don't need to know what Blaine's is. They can just say this is a brand. But the rest of it looks damn cool. What do you say? I mean, go ahead and click the link and have a look for yourselves. See if there's anything you like. It's worldwide shipping. You should be good to go on that, guys. Different sizes. Uh, all these different sizes. So it starts in medium. Okay. So, you know, medium should be just fine. Next story is about the Series 5 rules that we didn't... We're going to take a little closer look at that. And one thing that's shown here was Kobaline, Terrakian, and Verizia and the Swords of Justice legendaries have been made available to be used in ranked battles, which is unusual to say the least, considering you can't even get them in the game yet, uh, not naturally, not organically at all, and it's it's rather strange addition considering legendaries by, by and large are not allowed in, in ranked battles, and mythicals either, they're just mostly not allowed there. Uh, but in this case, these are, so I don't know what they're doing, I don't know what, what the angle is here, a lot of people had suggested to me that possibly this is a giveaway for an event upcoming that is going to allow you to capture these three Pokemon Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, uh, one thing, as you know from maybe some of my past videos, these Pokemon are actually in the game already. You can get them, you can hack them in, you can also trade them in from Pokemon Home naturally and organically and legally. So it's all that they've just decided to add them now. I don't know why just these three legendaries now. Uh, it's, well, I don't know. Let, let me know what your theories are, guys. But we'll see what comes of this. We'll see if there is any event for uh, catching these at all. Now that they're available, I think I'll do a giveaway. What would you like, fellas? Leave it down below in the comments. I haven't decided yet. I haven't organized it yet. But I can do a giveaway of a shiny one of these. Whichever one you want, guys. I'll do one for now because we do have Zerud coming up in three days. Whoa, dude. Zerud is coming in three days. That's huge. But yeah, guys. Uh, one of these three, guys. Let me know which one you'd like to do me a giveaway. And I'll see which one gets the most comments. And I'll do a giveaway of that sometime very soon in the future. 
possibly after Zarud, realistically speaking. Next story, Zarud is coming. Yes, so here we have it. The 7th of the 8th, which is August, this is when it becomes available. These are tickets, pre-purchasable tickets for the movie Coco. Now, as you guys know, when you buy one of these tickets, by the way, you're going to get a code, okay? One special advance ticket has two serial codes. That is for your shiny Celebi and for your Zarud. And one thing that's going to happen is, guys, you're going to be able to just buy the ticket and you're going to be able to just use the code because the codes, the Nintendo Switch is not regional locked. So you can get the codes from the tickets here and you can just get the Pokemon. Now, there's going to be a lot, a lot of empty cinema seats happening over in Japan land, but I don't think Pokemon cares either way. So they're going to be making the money out of this. So guys, I'll let you know. I'm going to go through testing this. I'm going to test the child ticket and I'm going to test the adult ticket and we'll see what we get out of those and we'll see how they work in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm going to do giveaways of these as well. So if you guys aren't interested in buying the tickets yourselves, first of all, I'll let you know if it's even doable. And second of all, if you're not able to or you're not interested in doing that, you might get a chance at hitting up one of my giveaways for Zarud, which I've been intending to do for a long time, all the way since back in April. <laughs> well, it's been delayed. So now we finally got it coming up in three days, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. How about you? Last story is a Korean-based event for Pokemon. However, this is global. You are all going to be able to get a code for to use in Pokemon Sword and Shield for a shiny Amoongoose. That is this, Amoongo Amoongoose or whatever. Apparently it's to represent or to honor one of the players of a com Korean ranked competition and uh, this is his shiny Among Amoongoose or whatever. So everyone's going to get a shot at this. You're going to get the code and I'll let you know. That is coming on the uh, the 9th of August, so two days after the Zeru drop. So I don't think people are going to notice or care, but I'll let you guys know what the codes are and when you can get them and how you can get them and all that stuff when the time comes for this. Just a heads up, we are getting this incoming very soon if you guys want to get in your hands on a free, easy to get, legit shiny. There you go. And to finish it off guys, just some little happy news. I was playing the spotlight hour and I got my first shiny horsey. Yay! I was looking to try and get more. The stats are not great, but at least we got one shiny horsey in the bag. I've been playing a lot more Pokemon Go lately. The Pokemon Go Fest was fantastic. Guys, there's something you need to remember on the poke on the August 16th down here. 16th, where is it? Right here, right here. That's Sunday right there. 16th, guys, in a week and a bit. You guys are going to be able to relive the Poke Go Fest. The Pokemon Go Fest that happened, you're going to be able to relive it. If you didn't know that, guys, and you're going to have three, I think three or four hours of renewed spawns of all those shinies. Now, if you did purchase the ticket, you're going to get access to all that, including shiny unknowns as well. But I'm not sure because it did change for all the people who didn't buy the tickets as well. They were able to get shinies very easily. I was playing with a friend who didn't buy a ticket and he got tons of shinies, including ones I wanted that I didn't get, even though I bought the ticket. Well, you guys are going to probably get access to those as well. So you're going to be looking at shiny Alola Marowak shiny Alolan's executors stuff like that I mean they're still available now because it's Dragon Week but a shiny Alolan Marowak is really bloody hard to get that's one you need to try and get guys because first of all they're in four star raids whenever they're even in raids and again second of all most people don't do them anymore so that's your chance to get shiny and third of all of course shiny full full odds is massive odds like, I think it's 1 in 80 when you're doing raids of non-legendaries for getting a shiny so the odds of getting a shiny that way are just almost nil this is your best shot at getting a shiny Alolan Marowak I'm going to be doing that too. <laughs> I hope you guys get a good look on that one. Well, that's really it for today's Pokemon news. Hopefully you found it useful, especially that legendary news for the ranked battle. Those Pokemon are strong, guys. You're going to be able to use them. Verizian, Ta Ta Terrakion, and all that stuff. So yeah, good luck in beating up those ranked battles right now. It's a very sneaky little addition to the ranked battles is going to be very interesting to shake the game up a little bit. Maybe they're spearheading, testing some ranked legendaries uh, in ranked battles now and see how it goes because they might start releasing more rank, more legendaries for ranked as well, hopefully. That'll be very cool. And hopefully I'll see you guys around for the Pokemon Virtual Fest too. That's going to be cool. It's going to be very interesting. It's a very unique thing. I haven't seen it before. Thanks for coming guys. Don't forget to drop a sub if you're new and I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye!